Hello and welcome to Bump Love. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you do not miss out on our content that has everything to do womanhood, motherhood and parenting. Now you'll hear the term subscribing more often lately than years before because we are in the digital era. Yeah, we are in the dot-com era. And it has come with so much advancement. I mean, people are excited about technology. But it has also come with unwanted vices, you know, here and there. And I'll tell you, um, late, I think last week, no, the other week, my grandmother got a smartphone. But all, yeah, she got a smartphone. But I'll tell you, the only thing she does with her smartphone is receive a phone call. <laughs> Hello, who's there? And nothing else. So I'd like we're starting to know what you typically use your devices for at home. I mean, we have TVs, we have tabs, we have phones, we have laptops. And now it's not only for the old. You'll find this with children, yeah. grandparents, yeah. Uh, hawkers. Everybody has, you know, a device or a gadget. Yeah. What do you typically use your, uh, you know, devices for or gadgets for in your homes? My and. I, I don't know whether I should be ashamed of this, but I only use my gadgets for work. No, I tried ashamed. to think that maybe I use it for entertainment or for, I don't know. I, I really tried, but I realized that the only thing I, even when I get onto social media, yes. you know how people get onto social media to be entertained, yeah. to find out what, I go there to work. Like for me, devices are work, and yeah. I'm such a workaholic, so I am always, you know, Brian would tell me things like, when, when, when I would tell him what I'm using my phone for, he would be like, if there's anybody who can squeeze the life out of a phone, mm. it is you. it's me. I think there's a teenager there saying, you don't even watch TikTok videos. When I, <laughs> even when I watch a TikTok video, yeah. the purpose for it yeah. is it for is work. work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it for me. It's so, it's so interesting you say that because right. <coughs> recently um, Manuela showed me, you talked about how you squeeze everything out of a phone. She showed me how to arrange my gallery, my photo gallery, yeah. okay. like in book categories where like if you want to post something, you know which category yeah. to go to. There's a family category, there's one for friends. And I'd never thought about that because has someone ever asked you, we went for a dinner like two years ago, uh -huh. do you have that picture? Like, I will find that, that picture. Old. She will because yeah. she's I'll organized her, yeah. her gallery. And the only reason I've organized it is for purposes of work. Mm. Yeah. 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 Like I will not, and you yeah. know my now my work is on social media. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. out there. Now as we are so looking for entertainment, why. but you're the entertainment. You're the, you're the entertainment. <laughs> Your work is entertainment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your work is to entertain. Yeah. yeah. So now. True, 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 true. Oh, wow. I think I, I would I would also say the same for myself. Yes. Well, that's because one also, phones have never like really been part of my life, but well, maybe I'm a late bloomer. So uh, by the time I started using the smartphone, it was really about work. Yeah. I'll occasionally watch Netflix, but when I get on, it's always Instagram. I'm seeing other people yeah. doing things or uh, what else is there? Instagram and Facebook, I'm not on Facebook, yeah. Twitter, Twitter. None, yeah. none of those, it's just Instagram and, yeah. and, yeah. and WhatsApp. But uh, in my case, I would say what I, like 90% of, of, of what I use my phone for yeah. is visuals. And Which once again comes, comes back, back to, to work, work. yes. Yeah. Because my, my, my job depends on visuals. Yeah. I have okay. to be able to take photos, okay. uh, you know, document, um, catalog them yeah. so that I'm, once again, you ask me, did you do a wedding on this and this day? Mm -hmm. I should be able to bring it out. But beyond that, then of course, it's an amazing alarm clock. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Is. yeah. That's it. Yes. That's it. That's it. Right. Alarm clock. Yeah, we, we see your lovely uh, pink coconut yeah. videos and we're like, yeah. yeah. She's entertaining. She's entertaining. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um for me honestly, this gadget, my phone, has been my go to for most of the important things for my evolving self. Yeah. If I want, yeah, for my evolving self, it's been so much help. I don't have to run and go for a seminar somewhere. Yeah. I'll just, you know, wake up and while I'm, you know, maybe organizing my room, I'm listening to something to yeah. lift my spirit oh, yeah, yeah. in the morning. Yeah. 
when I'm done with that, because before, while I, I misused the phone, I used to be on entertainment, yeah. watching every nonsense, mm -hmm. wasting a lot of time. Sure. But now, um, I'll, I'll do that, and then I'll go and do a 30 minutes workout, still using my phone. Oh, yeah. Yes, um, I'll work on my phone, because mm -hmm. most of, you know, work lately, the easiest communication is now WhatsApp. Sure. So you'll easily communicate. Sure. People don't go to emails very often. Mm. So, you know, let's have this done and it will be done immediately. So for me, it's a whole lot of things, honestly. I will still go for entertainment. If I have a minute and I'm bored, yeah. I'll go there and watch a video. Or even if it's a TikTok video, a dance, because I love dance. I'll watch people dance on a new challenge. And, yeah. you know, it, so for me, honestly, it's, you know, a whole lot of things, yeah. not yeah. just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, very similar to you, Rosette. I use my phone for a number of things. I have a Spotify account, so there's, I listen to music. Oh, okay. Oh. Music and podcasts. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I listen to music yeah. a lot yeah. um, when I'm driving, when I'm... I've actually seen memes to the effect of like when you are going to organize your room, like what's my organize my room playlist? Yeah. Oh, okay. so there has to be music nice. in the background because I find oh, music wow. really nice. inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. And then I also use it to connect with people. I'm I'm not a phone calls person, and I think I've made that abundantly clear. <laughs> Introvert a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what's up? I, I would, if I think about someone, if I think about a friend, I'm going yeah. to try and like reach out to them, text them. Of course. It needs to graduate eventually, but like yeah. I mostly use WhatsApp to let my friends know I'm thinking about them, connect yeah. with my family, um, but also share ideas. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. Oh, I use huh. Pinterest to figure out. I use Pinterest people. I use Pinterest people. to organize my huh. home. Yeah. I use Pinterest to figure out if color combinations are working. Oh. Oh. I use Pinterest for air. Everything. It's like my Everything. visual Google. Yes. Yeah. Everything in school. So I, I absolutely love um, Pinterest. And then, of course, my Bible. My Bible is on. So I try and ah, read like yeah. the actual Bible. Yeah. yeah. But I find but this one is so, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, easy. Yeah. Easy yeah. to highlight. <laughs> easy to find like the scriptures. Yeah. So I like it for comparing verses. Comparing versions. Oh. Like that's oh. yeah. versions because you can't have six. Yes, six yes, yes. yes. True. Six, true. Like, yeah. true. True. Yeah. True. True. There you can. True. You can yeah. absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. And then, of course, I spend quite a bit of time on YouTube. So in the past, like Rosette, it was mostly for entertainment, mm -hmm. but I also use YouTube for uh, inspiration, and I also watch um, a lot of stuff, whether it's for self-development or yeah. um, I watch a lot of sermons as well on YouTube. And then, of course, I watch Bumpla. Of, of course, course. Of, course. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm typically, actually, Najemba's judger. Really? I typically use my phone just for communication. communication. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I don't do any work on my phone. Mm. Nothing. Yeah, it's true. I am um, But you can also see the nature of your job. Yeah, oh, the actually, nature yeah, of my I job allows. An for you, like the nature of my job allows me so I really typically use my mobile phone to for com to communicate for WhatsApp. Yes. Yeah. And because now that's the method people use yes. and to receive calls yes. and to make them as yeah. well. Typically, if anything, now because I'm a civil servant, I have a landline at my desk. So in the week, I use my landline to talk mm, to people. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So this becomes because we are in a digital era and more people want to speak, you know, WhatsApp. So mm. I had to adjust. But for me, I, I pick up the phone and call. Yeah. Manuela never picks my call. Yeah. <laughs> Neither does Angie. They're always on their phones yeah. for work, no, but they never. Yeah, because they're <laughs> no, they not work. They are not on the phone. Oh, yeah. which is, and, then, and if they are working, then maybe they can't pick at the time. At that you time. see? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so my phone basically is communication. So I, I, everything has a different. I only watch Bump Love on my TV. Mm -hmm. I only use YouTube for, bump, for particular. Um, are they called podcasts, all of them now? They seem to be all the podcasts. Yeah, because podcasts I thought podcasts originally... Visual. Okay, visual. Yeah. So visual podcasts mm. on, I, YouTube. on YouTube, on my TV. TV. So everything has a, a purpose. My laptop is where I do my work. Wow. Yeah. Both research. official no, and, pass, and research. Yeah. When I'm researching a topic on Bump Love, actually now I've been made to use my laptop so much more okay. because of Bump Love. Mm. And then when I, I will do the research, I open and I will do the research. And then luckily, my, because my laptop is also a work laptop, I have access to some other sites mm, yeah. that give me even more information. Mm. So yeah, so I do my research and I close. So me, every gadget has a it's use. The, what I've just started recently is podcasts when I'm driving. Mm. So I really don't like driving. Mm. I don't. Yeah. 
but the podcast, listening to the podcast has made it so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. So when I, I find my, my time, if I'm looking at my screen time, I've realized it's really typically because as, I, as soon as I get into my car, I put my ear pods in, yeah. put this there, and, and when I want to laugh, I watch uh, Can't See Me's comedy show. <laughs> Without even watching, like I'm not yeah, watching, I'm just yeah, listening. Yeah, just yeah listening. I'm just listening. Yeah. So now I think I feel like for entertainment purposes on my yeah. phone, yeah. it's it's listening to podcasts yeah. and, and can see me. Yeah. I like yeah. I, something I, to lift up my. I like that you have not made the rest of the gadgets in your house go redundant. to sleep redundant because most people when they get yeah. their phone, they'll forget yeah. the TV, yeah. they'll forget the laptop. This is their go-to for everything. Yeah, so yeah. yours is for us, all... For us, it's a real office. You know how you enter your office? Yes. And so when people want access to you and they feel like they can call you, it's like how someone yeah. comes and badges into your office. That's what happens yeah. to our phones. Yeah. Because yeah. for us, it is, this is the office. Yeah. It's like now everyone just wants to enter and they want access we're as like they... Down we're down like, down. no, the, the office is closed. For yeah. so now, I am working. <laughs> you make an appointment. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and sometimes people yeah. see like in a certain way mm -hmm. but for us mommy, it's I really we, just i think we're evolving wow. we're just we are learning yeah. we're learning yeah. so how have how have these gadgets how has technology impacted your lives and we can talk about both the good and the bad so i had that i am a workaholic already which yeah. is advice yeah. so now imagine those days i used to have to carry work mm. from oh. office oh. back <laughs> home yeah now wow. yeah mm -hmm. Moving with you. Move you move with, with me. On me. Yes. Me and me everywhere. If, in fact, if I if I need to work on something and this one goes off, I can use yours. Mm. Because it's quick. Yeah. You yeah. understand? And I'm like, no, let me look at this. Okay, no. Now let you understand. Mm. So for mm. me, it's increased my workaholic my already my pre-existing workaholic vices. Mm. Oh, so it's more a bad for you, you think? Yeah, it's too like yeah. No, let's be guided. I agree. Let's be guided. Yeah, let's be. let's be. Actually, for you, may, you be may be thriving on the fact that you're a workaholic. So yeah. it's like, oh, now I even have more access. Now I can even do more. Because some workaholics go to sleep and they're thinking about, oh, shit, work. Yeah. But now that you can move with your device, yeah, now I'm done. I've done my work. Now let me go to sleep. I think in the beginning, before the kids, I would have said that. But after the kids came, I know okay. that I only have a certain amount of time um, with them before they're adults and they're on there. So I know that this vice has to. I have to curb it, yeah. but mobile phones haven't assisted okay. the matter. Okay. I'm, every time, like I'm, I'm always looking, researching. Yeah. There's always, <laughs> there's something. always, there's always something, something. You know, yeah. like and like she said, Deepo, my like now my Instagram. Yeah. When I save posts, I save in categories. You know yeah. how people just save posts yeah. to come back to me. I, oh, we actually yeah. have a meeting every month with my social media manager, and we look at all the posts I saved. saved. yes. Mm. So why did I save this one? It was because of this and this and this and yeah, this. Why is it yeah. because of this and this and this and this? Was it because of this and this and yeah. this and this? And a full meeting, then I unsave. Mm. Then I go back for the next month. Oh, wow. Yes. To save more and then mm. be able to, if, I, if it is on Pinterest, same story, like yeah. this. Yeah. I just feel like, and, and when I tell if I milk my phone, I don't know how to explain. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. milk yeah. my yeah. phone. Yeah. Brian even told me from now on I'll buy all your phones. Because yeah. you, when Kulaba, yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you yeah. can sign. You can yeah. write. Yeah. You can everything. Everything. No, 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 no. For you, my sons used to laugh about it. They would say, like, "Mom, you have a phone and you use three percent of oh, its actual phone. capacity yeah. of the things that it can do." That was then. I've gotten better yeah. now. Um, you mentioned that uh, you you carry your work home. Okay, maybe let's start with the positive. Mm -hmm. um, for in my case. My phone, because I, I started my business at the break of before social media and yeah. onto social media. Yeah. So before social media, because I'm a storyteller, my story, stories could be told within a certain vicinity. Yeah. If we got far, we'd do East Africa and things like that. Yes. But now with these gadgets, I yeah. tell a story and it is read 
miles yes. away from where it was scripted. Yes. So it, you, it, it opens the world to so yes. many possibilities. Yes. It's like you're holding 25 encyclopedias in yes. your hand. Yes. And now imagine if, if you add now your creativity into it. It's oh, like making food, insane. then you add yeah. aromat, akabanga. So it just, you know, yes. colors it all up. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. downside to it is that sometimes it's the very same thing that refuses you to think creatively. Oh, yeah. oh, you've heard of chat yeah. GPT? Yeah. yeah. Because the solution yeah. is there. Why would you go oh. through this whole R&D to, you know, to, to get there? So I think that if I were to say, I would say it, it, ha it can limit it has a way of limiting <coughs> your creativity and it did for a while mm. uh, but for me the real real negative goes back to work mm. you yeah. know when you wake up three years in a row in ICU you start you dial back and ask yourself what am I doing that yeah. is different from my forefathers my mom yeah, worked yeah, equally yeah, hard yeah. she didn't fall sick yeah, I yes. see people doing it <coughs> what I fail to realize is that even when you leave work work is here yeah. 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 so you leave the site but you're done on your way home, guys, don't forget this, add this, what time you get home, activity sheets, let me see this, you're about to sleep, somebody sends you a message, you're about to sleep, oh my God, I didn't send mommy her medicine, now let me call her. Before you know it, it's 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at 6.30, the come. same gadget is waking you up yeah. with the alarm. Wow. So it, lots of pluses, but the negative sometimes really, really a bit of a <laughs> And I'm, I, I really, really love technology, mm -hmm. and I know that it could either save your time or waste your time. Absolutely. Yeah. And I like that technology will save your time. Uh, before I would run, like I have an email uh, to send and I have to run to my office desk to send that email. Oh, yeah, By that right. time you get there, you're yeah. late. But now you send your email and communication is, you know, done quickly, quickly. Yeah. Most of the things, like it will save you time with a lot. Like communication is so fast, you, you know, your time is not wasted wanting to get that information that you need. Yeah. But the time it will waste for you, you know, <laughs> Being on, you know, listening to people that are just noise makers, <laughs> it can really waste your time. You're on, you know, maybe Pinterest, yet you've already gotten what you need, but you're enjoying. Yes. Mm. You're wasting a lot of time because it's very interesting, whatever is there. People have lots of content across the world. So, yeah, it can either waste or save. No, that's right. That's it. You said something about creativity, and I feel like for me, it's a springboard for creativity. I feel like it provides inspiration for me to think, oh, if I could do this, now I have to make that idea unique to myself or yeah. to my home or to my surroundings. Now that gives me an, somewhere to start. Yes. Yeah. yeah, maybe I'm just a lazy thinker, but it gives me, <laughs> it, I feel like it gives me inspiration to start. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, technology and screens have opened the world to so many possibilities, yeah. opened me up to yes. so many possibilities. Yes. You can do a course online. You can yes. talk to a friend in the yes. UK or in the US. Yeah. You can even send money. It's a lot yeah. easier for, for you know, people who are outside the country to send money to yeah. you. True. And so it has de it's made the world much smaller. True. Yeah. Um, on the downside, when it comes to things like connection, you've seen the joke where they say when you become an adult, you make plans to meet with your friends for six months mm -hmm. until that <laughs> like, yeah. Every time you get in touch, you're like, oh, hi, Manuela, I was just thinking about you. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, but we should do coffee. We should. Yeah. We should do coffee. Yeah, we should, we should do, do coffee. coffee. Yes, yeah. and that we should do coffee is like for a year before it actually this happened. Is true. Yeah, it yeah. sort of gives you a false sense of, Connect. I know, Connect. yeah, we're connecting, yeah. but, but you really are you aren't, really? you know, yeah. and I always, I really appreciate, recently, when was it, I think two days ago, I met a friend of mine, we met from about 4 p.m. and talked up to 10 p.m., and I enjoy events like that, where I sit down and I'm not thinking about my phone, because when I'm connecting with people, I find it really rude when people, some people are on their phones, oh. like, what's happening, I'm like, yeah. put your phone, phone down, was vibing media. oh, was she? Yeah, yeah, she was, she took me out. <laughs> And on that, she didn't want to be on the phone because she wanted to concentrate. And on I, me. I find yeah. that really, yeah. really. But now, can you imagine on that day, uh -huh. while she was really trying to be respectful, 
she still had work to do in the yes. day and she oh. works on her phone. Yes. So I, every I time and intentionally, was she was paying, she had to pay salaries. She was, they were oh. to her content, to her for what? Oh, yeah. Please don't, we had like five delivery people come. You, PR, she had PR, what did you call oh, it? PR, PR packages. packages. PR packages. Nah. So now she had to do the unboxing. So because I could case. see, and I think, it, it, I, that's why I said, I think we are learning and we are evolving for mm -hmm. me, Pumla. When I'm with somebody, you will never see me touch my phone me or too. anything. Me but that's too. because I don't work on my phone. Yeah. I use it for communication. So yeah. if I'm communicating with you, who else am I communicating yes. with? But I could see her the struggle. in a struggle. Yes. So I would literally tell her, okay, let me go and take pictures of the children. She, she I'll have to, because I don't want you to do it when I'm there. Yes. Yeah. So I yes. said, no, 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 let Why? me excuse myself. And immediately I would do like this. <laughs> She's on. I'm trying to do things in the quickly, quickly, quickly before I come back. <laughs> and then, and then as put soon as the I come away. back, phone off oh, again. Oh, so I not I could see that that yeah. you know that's yeah. I I, I really I appreciate when I have conversations like that. I leave feeling so much like I'm like oh my gosh I didn't look at my phone for five hours yeah. it's so so refreshing so i encourage you, you find like find, a find activity yes that has been, that has been I have not thank you i have not yeah. looked at my phone i think my biggest advantage of technology now is remote working and remote schooling mm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. for me that has been definitely my best advantage i don't know what people fear in their homes people don't like being at home mm. i love my home like yeah. i really love my home and I love my colleagues at work, but sometimes they can be a distraction. Yeah. Sometimes I just need to get some work done. To wake up at 9 a.m., luckily now you can wake up later, and then walk through the day without having mm. too many Interrupt inter interruptions or interferences yeah. or anything. And of course, I'm privileged that I don't have people in my house. Yeah. So it can be an office. Like there's no husband who is going to walk in at any time. There is my child is in boarding school yeah. now. There is no, no I have no maids. Mm -hmm. Like nobody enters my house. Mm -hmm. um, I can literally be here. And I hate driving again. So it takes away from me like I don't time spent on the road yeah. to and from. Yeah. I live in Wakiso. Mm. Everybody knows the traffic associated with the drive from C Central Business District mm. to Wakiso. And, and then the cost of in real real in the middle. Mm. Yeah. And then my workplace doesn't even let me park there. So now I have to park somewhere. Then walk oh, all the way yeah. to my, like, it's just an inconvenience. So I, 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 I would not work remotely every day by choice. Yeah. You know, COVID was a bit much. Yeah. But at least pick the flexibility of, like, two days. And, of course, luckily, my institution still, because we, it's progressive, they allow us, they institute a flexible working policy. Yeah. So, yeah, you can take off maybe two days, three days, as long as you're delivering. Yeah. Like, you yeah. have to be a bit you have to be clear and we're adults we're mature yeah. i can deliver without close supervision mm. so like on top of the and then my son like what has really impressed me this time my son's been on holiday and they've been giving them some activity work you know what a new curriculum mm. you have to keep training and practicing yes. so they would send in work and then we'd set up zoom and this is individual not those yeah. zoom classes of those days of teams where yes. the whole class is in and you're teaching yes. no everybody do your work and then the teachers set up times in the week for every student, every child, every child who needs guidance. Mm. One on so one-on-one. One. Because I'm not, I don't understand what he's doing half mm. the time. Mm. I don't want to Google. We sit down together. Then now we are it's difficult for us. Yeah. We just arrange with the teacher. Yes, um, Teja needs guidance on number three. He's maybe not understood the concept. Mm. And he'll set a time. He'll tell you, I'm good between 5 p.m. and 5.30. Please slot Teja in. Send it. a meeting. Yeah. Meeting time, schedule, and they're on. Yeah. And he's guiding him without stressing me the mother who didn't understand what he's doing yeah, <laughs> and having to google <laughs> everything yeah but the downside of that again because now there are no boundaries with time yeah. i'm a civil servant i've never taken work home in my entire life yeah. i don't want to me when i leave office i pick yeah. my coat i enter my car i go home mm. now i turn into a mother i turn into a, a woman yeah. another full human being mm. but now you find yourself you can work even in the night yes, yes. And aware I found that struggle, you know, I wasn't even so aware of it until about two, three months ago. If you've noticed, if you've been watching our show, I only started wearing glasses recently. Yeah. The screen killed my retina. Yeah. Mm. It did. Mm. I had a period of three months where I was so, so busy. I was working so many hours in the day. Like I would, st I would because when I, I would go to sleep and I'm thinking about the project. So now I'm up by five, mm. I'm, I'm on my laptop, I'm working. I have to get into office, I drive. Wow. I'm, please, but sometimes I would even park 
on the side of the road. Get my laptop, finish, 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 finish something, email. quickly, quickly send. Someone is calling, hey, Pumla, have you seen this? Um, get, stop again, park. Wow. Sometimes I'll even wait, and this is a real vice, that, that traffic lights would go, go red. And I'm, I'm hoping, I don't, you know how many people hope that they, the lights are green and they yes, go, me like now, there were points when I'm like, red. I hope they are red, yes. so that and I can get my laptop like <laughs> and see. And that went on for three and months, and, and yeah. at the end of the three months, when I finished that project, you guys, the night I finished the project, I got the worst, the worst migraine. In, it was yeah. a headache, a bad, bad headache. A headache that went on for two weeks. Whoa. I, and I kept going. I did every scan in the world. Mm. Every over MRI, CT scan. And they would find nothing. Until yeah. someone just told me, what have you been doing? Are you stressed? People thought I was stressed. Mm. Yeah, for me, it's difficult yeah. for me to get stressed. To stressed. My nice. retina had been damaged. Like that blue light. The blue light from the screen, from the screen. Yeah. had just killed it. And please note, I had actually had like a pre-existing condition, but my brain had been managing. Yeah. So that the, the oncologist, of ophthalmol, what do they call those people? Ophthalmologist. Those ones of the eye, yeah, of is the it? Eye, not eye surgeon. Yeah. Our well, well, optician is, is like a doctor. Oh, now there's this other one, the surgeon. Yeah. 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 He just said, no, no, no. This thing would have happened maybe eventually, like ten years from now. Ah. Yeah. But because of what you were doing, that three months of intense, it came. It came. So you triggered it. You stressed your eyes so much. So it's, it's like, oh my god. You know, I'm listening to Pumla and I'm like. Ee our life the laptop is there open all the time yeah pastor you see a red light there <laughs> you remove switch off <laughs> yeah but you know it's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's sad yeah. i wanted to say something oh, no. no 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 i wanted to i just wanted to re-emphasize isn't that Unhealthy, like home life. It's so unhealthy. Oh, it's, it's, it's so unhealthy. It's a it's vice. You should be able to say, now I have stopped. Yeah. Now I am driving home. home. Yeah. Now I have packed. Yeah. Now I have. You should live in that moment, but you can't be in the in the office. Yeah, it's terrible. Car. It's just horrible. It's, it's horrible. horrible. And because we can, because these because projects used to come, this work was there, but we couldn't, so yeah. we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But now the technology has allowed us. Yeah. Now we are using, we are abusing. Yeah. 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 One of the parts that I found, and I know I shared just like a vice, but I feel like it has technology has cut my costs. Mm. Personally, for, me. for sure. Especially oh, okay. those of us in, in, in the work work area. Yeah. It really has cut our costs because like you said, those days you'd have to drive to office. That's fuel. Yeah. Now you can yeah. just do it. Uh, you can just yeah. do it off your phone. Yeah. Almost all my you know, like those days if you wanted to do a course. If you wanted to host a course, you'd have to come into a beautiful hotel like yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then you pay for for, yeah. for, for space. space. Then you pay for food. Yes. Now I'm just now like, not no, so that's much the, it's on the website. Yeah. Get it at your own convenience. Yes. Eat your own food, yes. and you consume my yeah. and you consume my course. Yeah. Or that's even true. things like design work. Like now, as we have a lot of design work, we're constantly doing posters and what. Yeah. Now you just go to Canva, mm. which is absolutely yes. free, yes. and then you put it done. <laughs> yes. You have to write proposals all the time. Now, and we, you would pay a proposal writer. Yeah. Now yeah. you just go to ChatGPT. Yeah. Ah, proposal on this. It gives you very well research. I need to understand proposal. that chat, GB. GB. Yeah, you'll become less. GPT. Uh, 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 you'll become less. You should give some chat yes. a call. Yeah. You will become less. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing tool. It's like how come killing creativity. Killing, yeah. I don't know if it's killing creativity. It's just killing thinking. King. Completely yeah. killing creative thinking. Not maybe. creative. All thinking. All thinking <laughs> because you can t you can tell it anything. Oh Make my a house God. out of a Nike shoe and it will give you the design. Oh, wow. Interesting. With That's time, the power of will AI. kill the uniqueness. Of course, it will. Yeah, that is the human brain. Yes. Because that's artificial intelligence it now. It is artificial working. intelligence. Yeah. And oh, it is wow. really working it up. Young ladies and gentlemen, actually, for me now, let me talk. Ah. Young ladies and gentlemen of this generation. <laughs> yeah. If you think that you're going to go to a job where they are going to pay you yeah. to do nothing, <laughs> Thanks. please. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Technology has come for you. Yep. Go to charge you yeah. tell it to do for you anything. Anything. Yeah. anything. Yeah. Tell it whatever. Tell it do for me a hair set. How should I do my it yeah. will give you anything. anything. So if you're sitting there thinking that the world can't move yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not going to really become struggle for that. It's going to be about the fittest. Yeah. yeah. The one who runs fastest, the one who, because if yeah. you're there in the middle. 
yeah. a machine can look warm. The Very truth sure. is, guys, technology has amazed when I traveled to Sweden. I didn't tell you this. <laughs> the apartment where we went, there's no one to attend to you. Everything is done ah, online. The yes. booking, Automatic. everything is automated. I was yes. amazed. Eh? There's no I'm like, this woman has done her apartment and she's home enjoying her family. She doesn't need no employees there. True. You have a code to open your door. Yes. Everything is there. You don't need, like guys, at first we, like when we were looking for that apartment, we, we didn't find it earlier. We were a bit lost. Like we were, it was what B and yet we needed C. But even the lady that was cleaning at, at B yeah. didn't know where she was. Like that's how yeah. you get. Yeah. But I was amazed at that technology. You guys didn't, didn't, didn't talk about the downside on technology, killing family time. Yeah. And that is the worst that is happening that, yeah. lately. Yeah. Yeah. Like especially teenagers. The babies, not so much. You'll call them in. Yeah. But for those older children, yeah. everyone is in their rooms on the phone. Yeah. And it's killing everyone yeah, that is yeah. so so yes. so true and, um, so i know that and i have been a, um, a culprit oh. of this um using screen time as an alternative for like your children disturbing you yeah. blah 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 like let him keep quiet let me give him the phone and because i have dealt with a child who had delayed speech it's it's a very common thing in homes where a child maybe is throwing a tantrum and the mom is like just I give them the phone. Like, yeah. I can't deal. Because yeah. when you give the child the phone, they keep quiet. quiet. Yeah. They are their best behavior, you know? Yeah. And, and it is a such a vice. It's a very quick go-to. It's very, very quick and natural. Yeah. And yet you're doing more damage yeah. than, than if good. If you had just worked yeah. on that If you had just worked on that tantrum and addressed it. Yeah. So it, it really is, it's disturbing homes. And I know a lot of parents complain and say, what am I going to do about screen time? I've just given up. Yeah. Let, me, let the child just have the phone. Yeah. Let them spend. And then, of course, with that comes, if you can't regulate yourself, if you're struggling with your own boundaries, you're obviously going to struggle with your child's boundaries yeah. on what they consume and how much time they spend consuming it. So that that's a huge, so huge downside. That's yeah. true. Yeah. As Even much dating, as we love. Also. Mm -hmm. Or relationships. Yeah, yeah. relationships. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. like... Wow. Wow, yeah. indeed. Wow. Because I think it also wow. gives, like, especially people um, access, like men or women, mm. to see, you know, the, you know how they used to say the grass on the other side is green. Now. now it's luscious. It's luscious. With <laughs> fountains right? and forests. Like those days, your neighbors, your neighbors yes. think it would just be green. Yeah, yeah. Now. now. True. It has a well, 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 well manicured lawn. It's a castle. <laughs> yeah. So you come back to your husband, no mula, but you're just like, like really? This desert that I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's alive. Actually, those, um, I, I read a, a study. University of Michigan actually had a study that was looking up, up saying it was actually on Facebook specifically and they were saying that the use of Facebook has led to More. decreased happiness yes. and overall well-being and this yeah. is mostly because of social comparisons yeah. and yes. online unreality yeah. so, so and true. then there was also another study that came in to say that the use of phones is, has been related to to how, to how did they put it it, it even has a name, I think, chronic, chronic smartphone stress, mm -hmm. where the more you use your gadgets, the more you use your phone, you actually, it, it's linked with more depressive symptoms. Yes. That's true. So you'll find anxiety. Yeah. Actually, yes. it's more anxiety and then, depression. Yeah. By yeah. triggers this guy. And, and you don't even realize. You see somebody And you don't even realize. And you see, it's on both ends. It's on both the end of the person who's working, who thinks they're being productive on the yes. phone, and also on the side of the one who's wasting their time with entertainment that it's doesn't the deserve thing. them. Yeah. It's, it's exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter what you're doing on the phone. phone. Yeah. As long as you're exposed to what other people are doing exposed yeah, yeah. That that's so it. yeah study actually shows 75 percent of everyone gets restless once they're not on their phone mm. once their phones black out and i was reminded of of you know someone was saying uh, there's a girl that loves being with her phone mm. and they keep yeah. teasing her that it's um a, a continuation of her hand like yes. she's constantly <laughs> on like her phone is the truth. Uh, yeah and i was reminded of that video that you that we watch it's, it's been going around uh, a guy is in the bathroom but that, that's the only time they leave their phone away and once someone oh, calls they'll oh, run out with all the so phone <laughs> with soap you know people go because to the phone like now asanta will go to the bathroom with her phone so it's playing music 
Then yeah. when she's in the kitchen, maybe she's washing some dishes. She has the phone. That's what the phone has like, become to us. Oh. It has become. It has been designed. It has been designed to become a part of our lives. Of our lives. That's because why when you, you go to, to, to the toilet for number two, we don't have a phone. Yeah. 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 No, no, you can't. I know. But no, 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 remember there used to be newspapers and books right. in yeah. toilets yeah. right. and magazines. Right. Yeah, actually, yeah. for me, I won't lie to you, I go better when I'm stimulated here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I want, like, you when, you, when you go to a night, you take longer, when you go, go to a nice car bathroom, really, yeah. like at Golden Tulip, you yeah. know? Yeah. And you see, yeah, I know, but I literally go better when, like, I'm stimulated. by Yes. So, you guys love the phone, but we all know that it's expensive with the data, especially in our region. Very expensive. Save the data. So how are you managing in your homes with your dependents, especially? Yeah. How are you managing? So it's so funny we're talking about this because on our date, she got a notification that data has... She's like, because she's on a sharing plan. Like, now this boy, what has he been using this airtime for, you know? And it's interesting. So for me right now, what's going on is... So the kids... To a certain degree, earn some money from um, their work that they do with Angie, oh, Kemi oh, Very good. They are her photographers and videographers yeah. on the yeah. Bump Love set. Yes. And she pays them so well, I can't compete. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, when she dare does not pay them. <laughs> oh, oh, the show can't even start. <laughs> Auntie Angie, today's payday. <laughs> How much? How much? They even negotiate. Yes. Okay, I'm going for you 10K. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right now, they're, because I used to share with them yeah. uh, Wi Fi, yeah. so I would open up my hotspot for them to have yeah. access. And Diaz. Yeah. The yes. bundle I used to buy for one month, yeah. I was now buying three times, three. like for each of them. Can you know? imagine? So I started, so from their pay, mm -hmm. I now write down for them what they are using their money for. Yeah. And in, the, in their percentage for, spe I know one day we'll do the finance topic, so let's yeah. not enter that one. Yeah. But the, in their percentage for spend, yeah. there is communication and internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I tell them this is where your money is. So do you see how much it is? How much do you want loaded? And they decide. Mm. Yes. But dear, mm. eh, that's why on Sunday they come that they want to work. Yes. Because yeah. their airtime is it's going. <laughs> their internet is going. Yes. And you know, and they would say things like, but mommy, I just played this game. Right. And all my internet. And I said, you see, that's what I used yes. to go through. Yes. You know, so for us, that's how we are, we are doing it. My kids, I don't know if we've... Uh, um, my kids use their phones to communicate yes. with us yes. uh, via WhatsApp and, and call and also to play games. Mm -hmm. okay. I've not yet, there was a time I'd allowed for like YouTube kids mm -hmm. and all of those, but I, I, they abused it, so we, we, we removed it, yes, okay. we retracted it. So there are particular, there are particular games which I have played, so I know what's yeah, yeah what's so it's games and then i've seen bianca using like her note section they have lots of alarms these days yes. you know that, that's what they use the phone for yeah. games and but they now see what happens to their internet and they are and it's squeezing them yeah, yeah so that's how but that's managing. a good one because what i noticed is that when you let them regulate their own internet there is a way you yes. find she's like, I, I, I'll do TikTok from 9 to 11. Because if I start in the morning, I'll it's have run out of. Yeah. So that's a good one. Yeah. A good well, I, I, uh, just in case you didn't know, this episode is powered by Airtel Smart Plans. <laughs> <laughs> and I just now want to know. say that um, I don't, and people here know me, I don't influence. I don't, I don't like sponsored content on the internet because I always feel that that if your motivation is money, then there is an inauthenticity that you have to add yeah. to products. Yes. Mm. So I, I will only be able, I want to be able to influence from my heart. Yeah. So there's no money, and mostly because I want to share information yeah. and give people access to information that is good for them. Mm. Yeah. So when Airtel came on board, mm. I was like, finally, mm. 
finally a sponsor that I can fully, truly align with, yeah. you know? Yeah. And especially because I was already using their products. Yeah. Yeah. The product they wanted us, and because I chose it for yeah. myself. And the reason I chose it mostly was because of that Tugabane. They have, initially they had that Tugabane package where you could only share your data just the data, just yeah. the data. Yeah. with without i don't even know how many up to how many people it was mm. but that was at i was i was just sharing with, with my son and my security my housekeeper yeah. mm. in the home mm. so i figured okay that's this is data then now i had to buy for myself airtime a, a, a corporate bundle from airtel mm. and because everyone in my home must have an airtel line yeah. by default because yeah. if i'm going to it share anything it only makes sense yeah. the charges are less for the fees are less for everything. Mm. So for my son, I'd have to buy him his own uh, airtime. I would have to uh, his own corporate bundle for Airtel. Mm. Then because now we have other networks, now I have to also add on airtime. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it was okay because I was like, ah, okay, fine. Until the smart, smart plan plans. came. Mm. Everything in one, one package. package. Yes. And for me, like, yes, it can sound like oba kalango, but it's it's really it's it's, it's, it's really working for me. Yeah. I have you a teenage son. I was yes, really the right. happiest that someone could put everything in one. Yeah. Right now, because it's just the two of us, I use the the, the gold package. Yeah. Yeah. The one for sixty thousand per month. It gives you twenty five GB for the month. It gives you eight hundred minutes yes. Airtel to Airtel. A hundred minutes. Now, me, this is the one that I love the most because every network takes care of themselves. Yes. They don't give. They don't extend any credit or value to any other Are network. Yeah. This one gives you a hundred minutes yeah. to other yeah. networks. Yeah. And remember, most people have two phones. So I'm making a choice. Yeah. I'll you mostly use the Airtel, yeah. but in the times when Manuela, who has a different network, and Angie, who has a different network, yeah. when I have to reach them, I still have an option. Yeah. And then it also gives me SMSs, 200 SMSs. Yeah. And yeah. because I'm like Najemba's grandmother, I text. text. I actually yeah. do send messages. Yeah. So I use my package fully. And right yeah. now my son's been at home, and it is... It's been such a relief. Yeah. So I use, and let me say this again, because of the data being data generally in the region being, being expensive. Yeah. I, I have um, I use both a Wi-Fi at my home, mm. which is unlimited because my son plays online video games, mm. and I use also I use Airtel for my mobile, mm. and I have Netflix at home. Yeah. Mm. But let me tell you, and this I'm going to talk about Angie in a minute, <laughs> because my son when he has to download or upload video games yeah. online. It's so much slower on our Wi-Fi network. Yeah. Yeah. And so he has to ask me for permission. I don't let him download on, you, on the yeah. mobile, on the mobile yeah. because, because of that general problem in the yeah. region that data really is a bit expensive. Yeah. But the quality of the download, the speed That's of the speed. download. Yeah. And in that moment now when I allow him, like, okay, I can also watch Netflix. The quality of the, of the picture yeah. on the Netflix yeah. for yeah. when I'm using my Airtel, the smart is different from the one of my wife. Yeah. So for that one, I can attest to and I'll tell you about Angie. Lol, tell us. <laughs> we were given work as bump love, yeah, <laughs> to do some promotions, mm. yes. And um, and people were doing the best. We were pleased. Actually, Bump Love, we have arrived we really because um, uh, Teacher Ampamide, the comedian, uh, uh, was doing the same thing. Uncle, Uncle Mo was doing yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah. So we were asked to share those videos. Yeah. But guess who could not share the video? Up to now. Up to now, the videos. <laughs> the person who did not have the Airtel Smart Plan. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, she had to get a gadget that allows oh her eventually oh after fighting Lord. and we kept telling her madam yes. we're not talking about your network but i think it is your network <laughs> <laughs> because all of us the rest of us and we are on air oh, yeah, yes. you know, as we are oh, sharing yeah, we are yeah. sharing even with the sponsor what yeah. what oh, pay, uh, but Angie oh, could know yeah. that she sent us her message she said download sure. loading yeah, yeah, i've yeah, been here 24 see. hours 24 <laughs> hours so for me really the balance between using the wi-fi where uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, mobile, yeah. which for me is Airtel, is how I've managed because I can have the unlimited in my house on Wi Fi. And I live in the village, by the way. Unlimited only came to us in Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think I live near recently. in town, but I, it came really recently. I was only able to get that Wi Fi maybe six months ago or just yeah. over. Yeah. yeah, but when I when Airtel comes, I'm like, yeah. You know, when they send me a bonus, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me use it. <laughs> let me maximize it. <laughs> let me well, maximize it. These shoes and lipstick are powered by Airtel. Okay. <laughs> Right. 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 <laughs> I have two phones yeah. mostly because as on the other network for the longest time mm. it's the line you know mm. but when I started work and leading a team most yeah. of the people that I led were on Airtel, Airtel so I definitely had to get an Airtel line and the truth is 
with data that's the phone that i use to share yeah. you know data that's bundles cool. with my mm. kids because most times lately they're actually e-learning for them they've upgraded already at their school okay. they are e-learning they've been okay. given tabs because it's an evolving world their teacher we actually went for that seminar the teacher was mm. telling us guys all we have to do is let these kids in as early as possible because it's not getting yeah. any you know they, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that this is where they are going yes. so they they each have tabs and for them they need data they mostly yeah, do reading yeah. they've actually did their holiday package on their pack on their tabs, their tabs and that's where they've been doing most of the reading i really love that because they were telling me a story of volcanoes how we used to learn about those volcanoes yes. and then you just picture and then someone is just yeah. throwing something now they play it on their Can smart you board and you know they go home and revise it and internalize it yeah. all because of it at yes i use my airtel line to share yeah. bundles with them oh, yeah. yeah especially yeah. when they need it so that's mostly what they've been using the tabs that's for how, yeah. yeah that's yeah that's how i share but airtel guys everyone actually i used to get nagged you give someone another line and they're like no don't you have airtel yes. so i had to get on board don't you have <laughs> airtel the border guys who want to do delivery yeah. give you me your airtel, airtel now <laughs> get me airtel so i really had to open to airtel and the yes, truth yes. is all that you give is much mm. <laughs> bundles honestly yeah. sharing with five people that before so was really yeah. difficult but now i mean yeah. i share with the kids at home and it's amazing yeah. it's really yeah I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed using the airtel smart plans first that like pumla pointed out it has all these other things yes. you know like proper value for yeah. money there's sms's there's your data there's you're able to make yes. phone calls i honestly felt really rich when i was just Adding people to my oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think 25 GB for 60k plus all these other things yes. is, is really really worth it. it. Yeah. Um, I, I had gotten to the point where I was exhausted from Micah saying, "Mommy, please put for me internet so I'll, like you, I'll do like a hotspot." Mm. And then, like, say when I receive a phone call or when like the airtime runs out, yeah. I'm, Mommy, yeah, yeah that is yes. I'm like, "Yeah, that data is finished." finished. You know. <laughs> But now to load 25 GB yeah. and not worry and think, oh, it's about to get finished. Yes. Oh, it's about to get finished. And with yeah. different people. Actually, at first I was like, this is witchcraft. How is this going to work? <laughs> As in the person, because the number. other person that I put on my plan doesn't live at home. Yeah. She sent me a text and she's like, oh, you've added me to your, she's my cousin. Yeah. She's like, you added me to your plan. I'm like, yeah, I've added it to my yeah. plan. So she was using it where she was. And then oh. I added my mom as well. I put magic. my husband on my plan and then of course Micah. Mm. So I was like, oh, yeah. okay, magic. Oh, imagine. Everyone is in their space. No one is yeah. asking me for who's Imagine. Oh, yeah. 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 Rich anti-vibe. Yeah. 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 Gaga. It is rich so You have yeah. a right. Yeah. Yeah. I really have a right. Oh, and the speed, sorry. Oh, the speed. The speed. The speed. The speed. The speed. The speed. The yeah. speed. It's so crazy. That's why we can download dear. And the shower posts. But can you can you please tell them to maybe cut the videos short? <laughs> As we are there <laughs> downloading and publishing. Goes on to Instagram and stops. <laughs> stops. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you mentioned you know the children were always asking about. Um, hotspot guess what it never ends oh, really? i'm telling yeah, you that. you see in my house mm. the second the wi-fi goes off or <laughs> i run they out of talking to everybody yeah they come out of hiding they come out of hiding does your phone have battery so it it will never they ever they end mean. How do I manage? I tell you, I have those with smart things. They never ask, is that data finished? No. They ask, does your phone have a battery? Yes. No. <laughs> hey, mommy, has Airtel gone off? Ah. Does Airtel have a problem? Thanks. Maybe call them. Yeah. It is phone never phone that they, <laughs> they have finished your data. Really? Never. never. <laughs> uh, so, um, how do I manage um, my internet bundles and my other <laughs> Mikutu's networks? <laughs> um, uh, unlike you guys, I do not have uh, dependents at home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what Ojo would do with my Wi-Fi because <laughs> really, <laughs> he has his own. But um, yeah, of course, the children are older. But in my home, how do I manage 
I, I, I load on my phone, which has been working for me. But when Asante, my dependent, one who is still a dependent, comes yeah. home, yeah. she sorts out the issue of internet. Asante is very good at um, getting people around her to do exactly what okay. she wants. Nice. So when she's with Jaja, the grandpa, can I get 50k for? Uh -huh. Then she calls her big brother, that's 15. Then she calls the dad, that's 100k. Then, then she comes to you and says, Mom, we need to help her, Sante. She needs to get onto that <laughs> smart <laughs> plan. I mean, why is she disturbing Jaja? Yeah, no, no, we, we, we are getting you that like, smart Mama, plan. We have here like 450. <laughs> So I'm now going to pay for internet. So when Asante is at home, yeah. she's the one who she handles that. She sucks herself. That. Nice. that said, mm. I recently bought that car. Oh. The white, the MiFi. The model. The model. The MiFi. The MiFi. Okay. I recently bought it and I put a little bit of money and I was able to upload one of the videos. <laughs> I am still waiting for <laughs> my package, mm -hmm. but yes, things are getting, are getting better. better. Yeah. When I shared it, I was, I was laughing the other day because I shared I share my, my bundles with those of Dean and now the language they know is hotspot, Wi-Fi. Yeah. And then I hear Zara the other day also say, Mommy, Wi-Fi. Mommy, can I have Wi-Fi? Like, wow. Wow. Ladies, how are you controlling the addictive use of gadgets in our homes? Because the truth is, we all know how addictive these phones have become. Me Over first. to you. You too. <laughs> me teacher. Uh, because phones, they almost killed me. I realized I bought it myself and it was going to end <laughs> my life. But it took three brushes with death for me to realize that I need to get a control of this thing. So now, the one who will call me arrogant or whatever, after six, I will not pick calls that are not from my family. At 11, I'll get my phone, put it in the, uh, in the sitting room, and I'll go to bed, and I will sleep. Yeah. And you will sleep. And I will sleep. That's lovely. My WhatsApp, I will put my WhatsApp on in the morning. I will respond to whatever I need to respond to because, as we said, it's my office. So when you see me online, it doesn't mean that I've got to respond. Mm -hmm. So now the official WhatsApp is on uh, a laptop as well, so anybody else can be able to respond. But on my phone, I'll switch on in the morning, I'll switch off during the day, and I will put back on at the end of the day where I will respond. But otherwise, guys, Seriously, technology is an amazing thing, but it can take you down. Nadala fit of work. You can't even tell that you've reached addiction mm -hmm. levels. Yeah. Because for you, it's still work. Yes. You understand? And so for me, I, I think it was, it was something that I started not, not long ago. Like this is like, of, like mm, a week ago or something. I said, but. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely not. And at that point, I even had like two phones, both smart. Mm -hmm. So when one goes off, I just That's continue yeah. Yeah. on the other one. And I was like, no, mm -hmm. this, I, no, even work is no longer an explanation for this. So I, um, before what I had was, I, I, I had, uh, what do they call it? Like I could stop how much usage I had on the that phone, app, yes. that app that I had okay. on the yeah, phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I even reached places where I could delete. So I have fasting periods where I fast off the phone and I delete. Okay. So now what happened very recently that made me realize, ah, the other app was helping me a lot, but it didn't cure me. Yes. <laughs> it, the, 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 the setting for them had been removed. Yeah. So yeah. now that I brought them back, yeah. I needed to go back in and change the As setting. if National Council of Higher Education. As it was expired. The course had expired. It was back forward. The course had forward. You had to go back and get it accredited. Uh -huh. Again. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. That's the language Ugandans understand. Uh -huh. That if you are locked, uh -huh. expire away, uh -huh. they're not expired. Uh -huh. <laughs> the app had expired. Uh, the app had expired. So I, had, I needed to go back and I didn't. Mm. So I had access. Mm. And oh. It was crazy. 
said no. I can't. No. Wait. No. I got the two phones, sold both off. Oh. Yeah. Got one which has two SIM cards. Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two mm. SIM cards. One is for one network, the other one is going to be for Airtel. <laughs> so I want my smart plug. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good. But Good. guess what? It will switch on at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and switch off at exactly 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Because for me, this yeah. is an office. So for those of you who can say, Manuela, you didn't respond to that DM. Yeah. Manuela, as you don't like you, you don't respond you to don't messages. Respond to whoa, whoa, whoa. messages. That is yeah. my office. Like someone coming to your office and sending you notes under the desk that yes. you need to respond to at that time. Yes. That's what that feels like. And so for me, this phone. Now, yeah. now if you are complaining, even it's going to be worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because now I will real switch off. Yes. Like you will find that it is off. And who to this one? I got yeah. cartons. You people, I got cartons. You see here. Yeah. Cartons. Nothing yeah. has been buying. Yeah. 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 This phone, I will switch off at exactly five. Immediately, I drive into the compound. Put in glove compartment. Yes. That's how bad. Put in yes. glove compartment. Lock. Come out. Only with this one. This phone, even if you dance on a hot needle. Yes. You don't have it now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Even if you call Pumla and you beg her yeah. and turn her upside down, yeah. she will not give you the number. This, number. this is me these days. Yeah. I like a video that I watched uh, the other day on the internet and it was meal time, it was lunch time. Mother of teenagers, about three. So before you come and pick your plate for food, you leave your phone at the table and have your meal. She'll keep it for like two more hours and then maybe hand it over. And I really loved it, especially when you notice that, you know, addiction. Mm. Because I've seen it with my brother. He will only come out when he wants to eat. Yeah, yeah. you get them there for yeah. a meal. Because they, won't stay, they yeah. won't stay in their rooms, you Hunger know, the whole time. Hand the hunger will bring them. So yeah. meal time, leave your phones here. I do. Yeah. That's how addictive it is. Because even yes. on the meal, someone will of want course. to be texting. Yes. Yeah, very, very irritating. But yeah. what I'm... Um, doing to control myself actually for me it was a goal that i set mm -hmm. i have no limits i could you know wake up in the middle of the night and check if i need to check something or if i want to learn something and everyone else is asleep and that's the time i have to listen in on you know this that i wanted to learn i can do it but i, I set a goal and i had to be intentional like i shared before mm -hmm. i i was misusing as getting addictive and it was really annoying mm -hmm. So it's a goal. I said, I'm like, no, I'm not going to be on my phone all the time unless it's a must. So mine is, you know, it's not work. I will work and stop. Mm. I'll get that entertainment and stop. Mm. So for me, it's a goal I set. I'm like, no, mm. if it's not important, it's not happening. Yeah. And I need to get quality time with my kids. So if mm. it's not important, airplane mode, and put it yeah, aside. and put it aside. Yeah. So that's how I'm managing it a bit. And also with the kids, because I noticed they were excited, especially at the time when I shared these bundles with them and yeah. gave them access to videos on yeah. YouTube. Yes. <laughs> to a point that even my daughter will be like, Mommy, I want Paw Patrol dolls. Yes. I want the videos of Paw Patrol. So she was called, yeah. <laughs> so she was also like addicted. I, by six, no one should be having their tabs and yeah. I put them away, yeah. yeah. But I, um, it has helped, mm. that has helped. Mm. I also want to get to a point where at a certain point, I do not have to okay. have to, yeah, yeah. or switch so it off, yeah. Yeah. yeah, switch it off immediately so they can see. But the truth is I don't. And lately I'm not getting frequent calls, so it's a very good cause for me. I'm not getting, I'm not as busy as I used, used to be to, while yeah. I was still in the corporate world because mm. then people don't respect your boundaries. Seven, Even yeah. at wow. seven, your boss wants you to answer. But now it's mm. just my husband yeah. allowed, that will expect that my phone is on oh, in case yes. of anything. So I don't switch it off. Mm. Yeah. Now that we're speaking about this, no, we are always helping each other along yes. this journey um, you need to prepare yourself for where you're coming 
Mm. With Coca-Cola, no boundaries, working, working, working. Then now you're in this space where you actually feel that mm. you are managing. Mm. But as very deceptive. times go, very deceptive. Very. You're, you're a very level-headed girl. You're the type of person who's okay, fine, I'll put my phone down. But Newman's is your baby. Yeah. But you know before what? Before you know it. Before I even let you finish. Yes. I'm just like Pumla. If, it, if work is done, it is done. Mm. Regardless. So what we're saying, Pumla is also able to do this because, because of the nature of... of well. I'm not but saying it will happen to change. you. She's yes. saying you the watch. The nature because of your you, work. Be aware. Yes. It's in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning it's kawa. Yes. But, uh, but as you continue and you get deeper into and it's in your, like your business, because now, you know, it's like that thing she said, like it's like the beginning, you're enjoying the freedom and what, and it's nice. Now that kawakaholic, that work thing, your phone becoming your workplace can happen. So she's just saying, watch, just, just watch. Just I actually there. know, I actually know, mm -hmm. but because I've been there and it's the same industry, it's FMCG, one of the busiest, like even Coca-Cola, it could kill you. Mm -hmm. You had to be intentional to stop or to build your boundaries, or to tell this customer, you know what, I can't help you today. Mm -hmm. Can I do it tomorrow? You know, that customer relation. Yeah. But even as you lead a business, yeah, if you're not structured enough, you're going to dive back there. Mm -hmm. If you're not structured properly, if you don't have the management, you're going to dive back to the workaholic. You'll be online, but if you have structure, mm -hmm. trust me, you can do it. Let you me, can let decide. Me share where she's you can be from. intentional. Rosette, let me share where she's coming from. I was telling you, I was telling you, you were joking about it. I was paying salaries off my phone. I do approvals off my phone. I review requests. I write letters off my phone. I write proposals off my phone. Now, you are in a place where those days when you're working a corporate organization, you had to go to the job and write your proposal. But now no one forces you. You can actually approve from your phone. Yeah. So it's not that the phone, you, you can sign documents. You understand? Uh, a, 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 a client calls you or an, or an NGO calls you. You can do the thing now, yeah, yeah, yeah. here and yeah. now on your phone. And this is your baby. You know when it's your corporate organization, like, oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, we'll do it tomorrow because it's not your father's business. Yeah. But now it is your business. I think, I think and they've sent the a proposal when it is yours. Yeah, yeah you like can't help yourself. Younger, we're like, for me, I will not punish That's my child. Yeah. I will speak yeah. to them. That's I don't understand true. how somebody can wake up and punish the child they love until you, until you get say, that child. You definitely will manage way yeah, better I am. than the I rest of us because am. you've seen the effects that it's had mm -hmm. on all of us. But when you get in, it's like you can talk about relationships or marriage mm -hmm. until, until you get in. They send one Even bad you know review for a new man. On Google I know. Yeah. You can't <laughs> sleep. <laughs> You can't say that my phone is on sleep. Because when you wake up, the it will have escalated. Thank you. But I think we should be able to educate ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Some people have no idea that the reason that they are not able to sleep at night is because the last thing they do before they go to bed is use their phone. Yeah. They have no idea. Yeah. But if you can educate yourself, and then education even goes beyond for children. Exposure to malicious content. Mm -hmm. What are you? What, what does the internet give you? What does this gadget give you? both the good and tell the them bad. both the good and, and the, the bad and the bad when you're telling them about the bad tell them why it is bad and why it is not for them of course again everything age appropriately yeah. but to remove the gadget becomes problematic i believe in the power of education in everything for as long as you can ground the child's mind to understand that what is good and what is bad and why it is good and why it is bad then now you set a foundation. Yeah. Then let them know. But also educate yourself. Because for me, honestly, I've never really had a problem. I've not been addicted to my... It's, it's something that has been easy for me. So when I see people with their phones all the time, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, why, why did you... My phone actually gives why me anxiety. You, yeah. Actually, my phone gives me anxiety. Because I just want to be here chilling and doing nothing. So I, I, for my child, I decided, let me educate him. Let me tell you what it is. But this came only after. Before when he was younger, because I was that typical parent of I want to put controls in place fast, even before teaching or educating, I decided to put, I've spoken about this before, um, uh, an app, it's called uh, Google Family Link. Mm -hmm. 
So I put it on his app. I, I knew that me, I was going to give my, my son a phone. And I knew he was going to get the good out of the phone. Yeah. But I, when, I was, when I was really thinking about it, I started checking online as I was wanting to educate. Then I found the app. Then I was like, ah, this is better than education. Education takes too long. And I, I don't know if it, I don't know if it will stick. I don't know if it will stick anyway. The way I see this, these kids, they, whatever you tell them don't do is what they want to do. So I put it as a stop measure. I think Teja got a phone when he was 10 years old. So I put it as a stop measure and the app is really good. I can see, I'm not Why here with my child, We're, but I still, I know where he is. I have a, I have, yeah, I can see him on location. Yes, yes. He should know. He and should this know. is an agreement because between the ages of 10 and 12, you have total control yeah. of everything. Mm -hmm. You have control over what um, you can see. His, you can see everything. You can see his, the content, mm -hmm. everything that he's going, using his phone for. Mm -hmm. the, it gives you, it has structures like, uh, like apps, like those app boxes of everything that he's interested in and what he's doing. And in that, whenever he tries to find something else outside, outside because the app it. also has the child's age. So it only gives you access to child age appropriate, age, age appropriate content. Oh. It doesn't let you yeah, yeah. do anything. It and it sends a message a to message me. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that this someone was has gone someone has gone forward. has checked this website or what. Now it's seeking permission from you. Yeah. It's not like it's reporting you. It's saying, is this really appropriate is for your child? Now it is. Him? Can we let him? And you just ignore. So for me, I'll just literally have exactly. sit down and have conversations with him, and I'll yes. tell him. But when you were checking for this, did you? Why, why, where was that coming from? Yeah. Why? Why were you looking for that? Why did you need that information? Mm -hmm. If you need something like that, you can ask me and said, "Oh, okay, fine." So now when he knows, it's like, okay, those are places I cannot go, yeah. I cannot do. It it allows you, it gives you a timeline. So I I put him, I put him on at uh, nine thirty a.m. and mm -hmm. I switch him off at nine thirty p.m. Okay. every day. Mm -hmm. But but each app has time limits yeah. each app that i allow and when he's downloading an app it asks me for permission yeah. i don't know it asks me yeah. for permission yeah. as long as it is over the age of 12 plus again it's age appropriate yeah. when he was 10 it used to ask me sometimes for content of seven plus mm. and just just to check because i actually I, I i asked it too because you know we are African exposure is not Bazungu exposure. No, it's true. Uh, and, I to, and I tell my son that a 13 year old American is not the same as a 13 year old African. No. You're different. For them, maybe the Bakuze Babidaba. Bakuze Babidaba. So now for you, you this exposure can throw you off. Yeah. So it would ask. So even now it asks. When the child reaches the age of 13, it asks you to lessen control. Actually, I like the app because it's a parent. It guide, yes, parents it is, guides yeah. with you. It, uh, it, they'll tell you that this is a 13-year-old. They are independent now. They don't want you in their business. Mm. So, we, we, they, so they give you different package plans. Mm. They'll tell you you can maintain full control. They allow you. They say you can maintain full control, but we advise against it. Mm. Or they'll tell you, yes, you can limit time for app, but we can limit for you content. But you don't need to know what he's doing yeah. or what he's seeing. And honest, you don't want to know what your 16-year-old boy is doing. No. Like, I don't want. I know that no. they, I know that things 16-year-olds like. No. I don't, sometimes I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah, the same way I don't, I don't, I really don't want to know. So yeah. I, it, it just advises you as you go on. So when he turned 13, I held on to control. Yeah. I, I decided, no, me, I'm full control, full control. And then he came back and we had a conversation. So now I started teaching about cyber education. So in between that time, I was now educating him. So he literally came, and when my son came to me and told me, the first time he told me when he was 11, that how come my friends don't have? I said, now is not the time. If you're comparing what you need to have by what your friends have, it's not the time. You're not really my, friend, my son just came back in this holiday and told me, you see, mom, there, is, there are things that I feel at my age, maybe I, I don't want to share everything with you. But I know that you're seeing everything. So I'm not even behaving the way that I'm supposed to behave because I'm under your eye all the yeah, time. That yeah. was number one. And do you know what he told me the second time? Mm -hmm. He said, Mom, I'm 13. Do you know what my friends do who have the Google link? We found a loophole. We know how to manipulate it. Yep. But I'm choosing not to. So I'm coming here and telling you that Me I am, because use, he could yeah. have done it. Really but you see, me. I could see if he would. Yeah. So you can see on the phone the time he's taking. Yeah. And I remember one time, one time, when he went over 15 minutes, and I knew mm. he has found the loophole. Yeah, loophole. Because it's old enough, these kids are smart. Yeah, but yeah. it was 15 minutes, and for me, I was like, oh, wow. Hold he just on did 15 minutes on his phone. Yeah, but I can see, like, the action. Yeah. He was using TikTok, so I think he has a one and a half hour TikTok access. Mm. 
and he went over. It was like one and forty-five minutes. Mm. Mm. Why did so he was use like, his friends? His, everyone is on their phones. You know, yeah. everyone is on their yeah. phones. Who can share? Yeah. Actually, his friends would send me messages. Auntie Pumla, can you please increase Teja's TikTok time? No. Yeah, that is uh, that's what the messages I always have. When he goes for a sleepover, his friends are on their phones. Imagine, 12 years old, starting up to 1 a.m. They're on their phone. Then they send me a message. Auntie Pumla, can you please open Teja's phone at midnight? I call them and ask them, you, what are you doing on your phone? I'm not opening that phone. But when he sat down and he had that conversation with me, I realized, okay, this now has nothing to do with his friends. It's the right age. Pumla, release that child. No, that so I released him, and now I just have control on time, like yeah. limits, time limit, a few here and there. But now I don't see what he's saying. And I explained to him, I said, all I want to know from you is where you are, your location. Yeah. That one for now, I'm I sorry, I'm not, going, I'm not going to release you for location. And then the times, I will, your phone will go off at a certain time. Yeah. Because even I, and I do that to the walk, the talk, because me, you never, you'll never, my phone after nine. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not happening. Unless you're dealing it's with not happening. Neighbor. It's you not happening. That? That, oh, yes. I, I had to call, <laughs> trying to call the police. Trying to call the police because my, my, my neighbor is a so loud. <laughs> I was in retro I was in retro I think when I get I was so cut up. We had loud neighbors, they were playing Rastafarian music. Unbeknownst to me, so I called Rachel and I said, I'm usually good at speaking to my mind, but positively, but today I have failed. Please help me. Just tell me something. I d I don't want to call the police on my neighbors. Yes. So she told me, no, you know what? You can think of maybe the advantages. Yeah. You never know what people are going through. It's you never know. It's the it's the first. It's actually she told me yeah. it's even the first time. Have they done it before? Oh, it's the yeah. first time they are doing yeah. it. You know. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine. I I put the phone down. I I, I didn't see. No, I didn't. I hardly fell asleep because the noise was too loud. So I went to the LC chairperson the next morning oh. and said, but how can you allow this noise? Do you know what had actually been going on? Mm -hmm. It was a vigil. Someone had died. They were in a you were going to call police on people who I was are going mourning. to call police for people who are mourning. <laughs> Munange, the guy was a rasta for them. They celebrate. Yeah. They, they will celebrate the life of. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah they real celebrate. And all the rasta guys were there. Like it was like a real chidu. So yeah. actually when I was going to the LC, I passed the truck and it's taking people. And they were all, you know, dreaded guys. I was like, who are these? What are they doing? Then the LC guy, Munange, ne dabafiri dwe. That's how, that's why we didn't stop them. That's how they do their that's thing. How they I was like, oh my God, I was going to call that police. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 people look for voice of music. But I'm so thankful. Anyway, you know what's funny? I think for me, I have. I feel like I have inner controls. Mm. I'm those people who get triggered by stuff that I see on social media. Mm. <sighs> Maybe because of my own personal journey or like you, my phone brings me anxiety. Anxiety, yeah. And so sometimes <laughs> I ask myself, Patricia, why don't you put your phone down? Yeah. I feel like I communicate with people a lot on WhatsApp, mostly because I don't want people to call me. Yeah. So if I don't respond to your text, you're going to be forced to call me and that's going to give me worse anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So oh my God. God. Yes. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, and then I communicate with my family a lot on WhatsApp. Mm. Two of my siblings are not in the country, yeah. so we speak a lot on WhatsApp. So people, please, please don't call me. You can text. I promise I, I will respond. Alex is not the only one that I've had saying. It gives me so and much anxiety. Well. Like when I see a phone call, I'm like, why is he calling? Can yeah. you tell? Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't happen for like people like now you guys i i am okay receiving phone yeah. calls from you are I you really I yes i am Bambi. i tell my mind these are my people <laughs> same as my husband my mom my family yeah. and, and then like my close friends that you haven't saved in your phone oh, oh. It does give you so much anxiety oh. true caller came banage true caller came oh, no. oh, true what call. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Like, yeah, but but why? why? But why? 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 why do you need? need? Why is it so no, no, now I have a to come here, I like line. phone calls. So how? You, you're calling how? How? Yeah. how did you get Or how did number? you get my number? Yeah. How? Yeah. How? So I, I use those inner controls when I yeah. feel like my I, I can tell when I'm being triggered. Yeah. Okay. So I, that is time for then me you. to put my phone away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will not go to Instagram. Yeah. I, I, I don't like yeah. Facebook that much. I feel like Facebook sends my anxiety. It's kind of like yes. And that's so I platform. rarely go yeah, to that's Facebook. my platform. If you send me messenger messages, I'll probably see them after three weeks after or a month. month. All right. Three I, yeah. I protect myself imagine. that way. But I yeah. feel like I, I really want to get to the point where I'm like after eight PM. 
no phone. Because no phone. I want to be an example to Micah. You talked about education, and Micah is in that why phase. Every time I say something or give an instruction, and he doesn't say why, he says, because why? Yeah. Because why? Because, because why? why? And I'm like, yo, I have to find an explanation for anything. So I use it as an opportunity to teach him that, you see, when you spend a lot of time on the phone, mm -hmm. when you go to bed, you're going to struggle to sleep, which means yeah. in the morning, you're so going to have a hard time waking up. So and then true. now we have this thing of, but does this thing teach you about God? <laughs> now, he checked me the other day. <laughs> hey! I was watching something on Netflix. It's like, mommy, is this, does it tell you about God? God. <laughs> Are you said, like, um, yeah, yeah, not know. exactly. It does yeah. not. Uh, anyway, I was really embarrassed because I was like, now I be here telling him does yeah, one cartoon tell you about, about God. God. Meanwhile, yeah. you are there on Netflix yeah. watching. Yeah. So like that cabal okay, of, am I walking that talk? Walking that talk. talk. Walking yeah. that walking talk. That talk. Yeah. But for Micah, what we introduced is put setting timers for yeah. the phone. So yeah. if he asks for the phone, and then he, when he wakes up in the morning, if he's not doing like uh, school, like over the weekend, yeah. there's stuff that he needs to do. You need to wake up, brush your teeth, basically groom, and then you need to do a chore, find something to do, yeah. Yeah. and then have breakfast. And then we shall discuss yes. if you are going After. to have the phone. Yes. 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 But when eventually I say yes, we're like, OK, I think you're going to have the phone for an hour. Yeah. Mm. You need to set a timer. So when he sets the timer, when the bell goes off, like there's no arguing with the bell. Yeah. Yeah, the bell yes. has gone. You hear him saying, ah, what no. is this? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it gives you the <laughs> phone. <laughs> and the uplink, the uplink up just takes the phone <laughs> off. And I wonder that's why I like the app because, because there is no, there is no complaining. Like, yes. of, uh, no, yes. the yes. phone just goes off. The only thing it can do, I put in the, the app, you put you input emergency numbers. Yeah. So that, that you can, can it can access. Yeah. In case of anything, he can call those that's numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good she, had, she actually shared. So the other, she shared about it before. So guys, the other day something happened with the kids and I told them, I don't think, I think the problem is that they've been having too much access with the phone. Mm. Um, and then because they had used a word, which I was like, mm. where, did where, did where did that come from? And then I said, I think it's from the phones. So let me put those away. And Blake, Blake came and told me, he said, no, you're blaming the phone for nothing. It was the TV. TV. I said, oh, really? So what should we do about it? Mm. He said, yeah, let's restrict that program. Let's not watch it again. Because as we thought it was an OK, yeah. we thought it was an OK word. Like, uh, <laughs> and then he mentioned how he had caught it on one of the movies. We watched even he hears Auntie Pumla. <laughs> Pumla. Oh, the S yeah, I said that word. That swear word. It a lot. <laughs> oh, and Bumpla have tried to mute me, but they don't always, they don't always succeed. <laughs> Yeah, so he was like, even Auntie Pumla, even what? So as, as, as they, but he was like, but you're really blaming the phone for nothing. Yeah. And then I remember thinking to myself, and we had just come from that teenage talk. I was like, okay, Manuela, breathe in. Manuela, breathe out. Yeah. First, first, let it go. Because when I was taking off the phone, one of the reasons he told me he didn't want me to take away the phone yeah. at night was because it alarms him for oh, his devotion, devotion. Yes. at 5 a.m. Mm. The phone, the phone, and I keep saying this, you guys, the phone is like the road. The road is dangerous. Mm. The road has cars. The road has borders. The road has people who have guns. The road has, the road has potholes. The road has everything. Yeah. But on no day, you tell your child, don't cross the road. Mm. Or don't go to school, don't go to school, school. because you're using the road. Or don't yeah. do this because the road. Don't go. No. What you do is you go and you teach. When you Not reach sure. here, look left, yeah. yes, look right. right. Look left, left again yeah. and then cross. And if you're in Uganda, look do look it three times. times. <laughs> look left, <laughs> look <laughs> right, <laughs> look <laughs> left <laughs> times three. <laughs> and then again, even <laughs> as you're crossing, do you it, keep look doing look it again <laughs> and again <laughs> looking. <laughs> because you never know. Even if you're on a one way street, one way. keep yeah. looking. <laughs> But you so if we are teaching our yeah, children but you have to how cross. to use the road, they yes. still have to cross the road. Yeah. It is our duty to teach them what is right and what is, is wrong. wrong. It's just that True. now we've been added an extra responsibility. I can't agree more, ladies. Thank you for sharing. And if the digital era has impacted you both positively or negatively, do share with us in the comment section. But if you love to use your gadgets and you love technology, but you find internet very expensive, 
look no further. Airtel got you. We got the Airtel smart plan. Get the Airtel smart plan shareable with up to five people. For as low as 60K, you get 25 GB. 800 minutes to call Airtel numbers and 100 minutes to call any other network, all shareable with up to five people. Five. Dial star 100 star 6 hash to choose your preferred smart plans package today. Airtel, a reason to imagine. Isn't that a reason to imagine, ladies? Yes. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. And that's it from us. Until next time, with love from Bank Love.